My mission with The Mortgage Report is simple, to save you money. I'm here to provide weekly insight into the market so you can make the best buying decision. I want you to know where interest rates are headed, and I promise to let you know my lock or float position. The Mortgage Report starts now. Hey everybody, I'm Bob Johnson, AKA Bob Mortgage. Welcome to The Mortgage Report. I do this video update every week so you know what's going on in the market and to help you make decisions as it relates to interest rates so you know what to expect as you're out there shopping for a home. If you're in the market to buy a home and want to explore loan options and interest rates, give me a call at 214-631-5626 or tweet me at Bob N. Johnson. All right, let's jump right into this week's mortgage report. This past week, the market was impacted by the new home sales and the existing home sales reports. These are both reports that talk about new contracts coming in on new builds and pre-owned homes. The new home sales report did not meet expectations, but the existing home sales report beat expectations. Actually, it came in at a 10-year high. Last week also gave us the release of the minutes from the previous FOMC meeting. They didn't reveal too many surprises but did reiterate the possibility of another bump to key short-term interest rates in the immediate future. Many analysts now think the Fed will make another quarter point move at their March meeting. This is earlier than what some were expecting at the beginning of the year. It doesn't change much of anything, however, as long as the Fed makes only three interest rate increases this year. Overall, last week ended positive and we saw interest rates improve about an eighth of a point for the week. Let's take a look at the chart. We seem to be in a bullish bond market right now, and for really no good reason. Sometimes when we have a bullish bond market, bad news becomes good and good news becomes better. We ended Friday at the top of the chart, that green line. My concern for this week is each time we've tested the top of the chart here recently, we failed to continue to rise and we've fallen about 100 basis points. So what's my position this week on interest rates? Well, there's a couple of things I'm considering. First, Americans remain slightly more optimistic than pessimistic about the state of the economy. And secondly, bonds are bullish right now, and they're bullish without great reason. If you're thinking like a trader, you would be taking profits at the top of the chart, that green line, then buy again at the bottom, that 100 basis point fall we've experienced the last three to four times we've reached the top. So with that said, for the short term, the next one to two day locks, I'm taking a short position as I anticipate pricing to weaken, which will lead to higher rates. For the long term, 30 plus day locks, I'm taking a neutral position as I expect the market should stay close to open, plus or minus about 25 basis points. Bottom line, having been a mortgage advisor for the last 20 years, I'm always looking for ways to maximize your tax strategies, lower the amount of interest you pay, and deliver to you the right home loan product at the right price. If you're in the market to purchase a home or you're even considering a cash out refinance, give me a call at the office. I've done this for 20 years and have been blessed to have provided financing to over 25,000 families. I'd love to help you with your home financing options. Your dream home may already be within your reach.